ओके नाउ लेट्स बिगिन विद आर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच इज क्वेश्चन नंबर एटी अगेन द सेम पेपर कोड कोड डी सो नाउ दिस क्वेश्चन इज रिलेटेड टू स्टीरियो आइसोमेरिज्म दैट मीन्स इनडायरेक्टली यू कैड से दैट समथिंग काइरल कंपाउंड सो समथिंग लाइक दैट राइट सो लेट्स सी वॉट एक्जैक्टली इट सेज थ्री मिथाइल पेंट टू इन ऑन रिएक्शन विद एच बी आर इन प्रेजेंस ऑफ अ पेरॉक्साइड सो लुक एट द की वर्ड्स सो दिस इज पेंट टू इन on reaction with hbr in presence of a peroxide right so when you talk about peroxide if it is an addition if it's an addition product then you would go for karash rule or karash effect or anti markovnikov's effect which is also called as peroxide effect right so it is already given that it forms an addition product that means you are expected to follow the anti markovnikov's rule okay you are expected to follow the anti markovnikov's addition rule which is basically negative part of the reagent that is hbr would go to that carbon containing less number not less but uh, it, markovnikov's means less right so it has to be more number of hydrogens correct so what exactly is going to happen so let's first of all write down uh, let's first of all uh, write down the reactant that is 3 methyl pen 2e before that let's see what is the requirement of the question the question is asking the number of possible stereo isomers right uh, possible stereo isomers for the product is the options are 0 2 4 and 6 right so let's see what exactly is going to be the solution for this question so now let's begin with the uh, let's begin with the reactant which is 3 methyl pen 2e so i'm going to use the bond line structure so this is number 1 this is number 2 this is number 3 this is number 4 this is number 5 correct so let's start with the numbering so you have 1 you have 2 you have 3 here you have 4 here and you have 5 here correct so the double bond is between 2 and 3 that's why it is given pent 2 in so it is right this way now at position 3 you have a methyl group i guess so let's put the methyl group over here correct so this is basically the uh, reactant which you are expected to react with hbr now when it is treated with hbr in presence of a peroxide what exactly happens so this is basically anti markovnikov's rule anti markovnikov rule which says that negative part of the reagent that is br minus would go to that carbon containing uh, more number of hydrogens right so what exactly is going to happen over here right so if you could see here there is one hydrogen over here and in this carbon all the valencies are satisfied already so one hydrogen and zero hydrogen so definitely br is going to go to this carbon right so h would be going to carbon atom number 3 so what exactly is going to happen so i'm going to draw the structure so here it's going to be ch3 over here right and then there would be something like this there would be something like this now there was one hydrogen originally correct now after the addition the products have been formed now br has come here correct so let me put br here there is a uh, hydrogen here correct and then if you could see hydrogen has come here so let me put a uh, hydrogen here as well correct so if you could see here this is a chiral center because this is going to be ch3 correct and this is going to be ch3 ch2 so this carbon is attached to br and ch3 and hydrogen and then there is a big group over here which is not uh, which is not similar to any of these right so it's a big group i'm just going to write a spiral line or something which indicating which indicates a big group so that means this is one chiral carbon okay now let's have a look over here so this carbon is connected to a ch3 group this carbon is connected to a big group like this and this carbon is connected to hydrogen and this carbon is connected to so the same carbon anyway ch2 ch3 so i'll write c2h5 so again if you see here this is also a chiral center or chiral carbon so we already have the formula number of stereo isomers are given by 2 raised to n where n is equal to number of chiral center or chiral carbons so number of stereo isomers would be 2 raised to 2 which is equal to 4 so next now let's have a look whether this match this option matches with any of these right so you have option number 3 which says that it is 4 now why is it that they have given the word possible 
Now there could be a possibility that it may form a racemic mixture, right? So it may not be optically active. So that is the reason they have given possible stereoisomer. Let's say if there is a plane of symmetry in this particular molecule, the molecule will be optically inactive. So in order to make sure that such confusion is not there, they have given number of possible stereoisomers, right? Which is equal to 2 square, which is equal to 4. And definitely this molecule does not have a, a plane of symmetry. So things have been pretty much taken care of. Okay, so the correct answer for this question number 80 is option 3.